Okay, Coach, uh, you've kind of started a little bit of practicing now. Just kind of recap the summer. Uh, a lot of guys playing a lot of tournaments basically all over the world. Just kind of your overall thought on how the summer went. Yeah, our guys did a great job this past summer of going out there wherever they were, uh, either in the States or overseas, playing a lot of tournaments, playing futures events, uh, you know, the pro events or playing men's opens, prize money tournaments, and just getting a lot of repetition. And so we could definitely see their hard work was paying off over summer. Um, we've hit the ground running since uh, they've been back here. But uh, yeah, it's great, great to see that our guys are committed and, and working hard over the summer. And I think just allows us the opportunity to uh, go from where they left off when they were here last time in May. So I'm um, really excited to have them back and they've been hard at work. Okay, and then in the fall you play uh, just tournaments all over, mostly in the southeast part of the country, but just what do you, what do you gain out of this, the fall season? Yeah, just more match play, um, seeing what things our guys need to work on, um, areas of weakness or just mentally if there's something that needs to be worked on. You know, we're videotaping their matches so we can break them down statistically and and technically and just to see if what there is that can be worked on to hopefully give them that little extra edge come springtime. So yeah, these are kind of like our tune-up matches. Uh, they certainly mean something, help from a ranking perspective individually, chance to make the NCAA tournament or make uh, some fall national events. So certainly means something, but at the end of the day, we're just looking for them to use these events as opportunities to progress their game forward a little bit by little bit. So. And doesn't it help though in the fall because sometimes you may play two matches in a day or you know you play three or four matches in a weekend with uh, conditioning and getting ready for the spring absolutely yeah we, i mean our main focus for us the first couple weeks is obviously in our conditioning and so then when we get to these fall tournaments that is already putting it to the test you could end up playing two doubles and two singles sometimes in a day so it's really putting you to the test so i think if you're able to compete like that absolutely you're going to be able to compete come springtime where we also sometimes play some double headers so it's great preparation absolutely and it came out yesterday and a good thing uh luca keist is ranked 72nd in the country in the preseason ita rankings what does that mean for our program and just yeah i mean credit to him you know he he had a really good year last year coming in january uh threw him right into the fire right from the get-go and he just uh continued to excel uh getting better week by week and um you know this is going this ranking gives him an opportunity to play in some of the premier events right off the bat and hopefully gives him the opportunity to improve that ranking moving forward i know he's got some individual goals set out for himself like making the ncaa singles tournament being an all-american so those are things that he's putting himself in a position to, to try and do that. Uh, so it's great, it means a lot uh, to the program. I, you know, the other guy who's done it before, uh, Roy Seashull, who's coming back as Conference uh, USA Rookie of the Year, I think, who also, also won it. So um, it's not something that this program hasn't seen before, but it's been a little bit, so we're excited to have it. And uh, yeah, excited for Luke and all the opportunities in front of him this, uh, this year. Okay, thanks coach. Thanks Brent.